Welcome to the Leopreneur Insights, where you learn the secrets of starting and growing your business the Filipino style. Because while it's good to learn from your own mistakes, it's better to learn from other people's mistakes and discover their blueprint to success. And now, your host, a certified Leopreneur himself, Jerry Elow. Hello mga Lipreneurs! Welcome to another session of Lipreneur Insights. This is Jerry Ila, the founder of Lipreneur. And this is Lipreneur Insights where we invite successful entrepreneurs to share their lessons about business. Yan, kumusta kayo mga Lipreneurs? Please say hi and where are you from sa ating chat box. Si Jeronimo, nandito from UAE. Hi Jeronimo, please say hi and where are you from sa ating chat box. And kumusta ang Valentine's day nyo. <laughs> Last Friday pala, Valentine's Day. So, nag-date ba kayo? <laughs> uh, for us, wala. We, we stayed at home uh, with the kids. So, nagkaroon kami ng Valentine's dinner with the kids. Yun. Sige. So, please say hi and where are you from sa ating chat box. Um, this is Lipreneur Insights episode number 113. Yan. Lucky number. <laughs> 113. Uh, where we will talk about how you can uh, become a highly paid consultant. Okay, so again, please say hi and where are you from sa ating chat box and share nyo na rin tong episode natin so that more people will be able to watch it. Okay? Uh, si Edgar yun nandito. Hi, Edgar. Glad you're ano, watching. And congratulations pala, Edgar, sa mga uh, talks mo. Yan, congrats. So, For those of you who just came in, please say hi and where are you from sa ating chat box. Si Charmaine is watching from Antipolo. Tapos si Arwin from Lipa, Batangas. Wow! Thanks, Arwin, uh, for listening. Si Jonalyn is also here from Hong Kong. Hi, Jonalyn. Um, now, introduce ko na muna yung ating um, co-host for this afternoon. Ang co-host ko is a certified Lipreneur and the Director of Consult Asia. Please welcome si Donna May Tombok. Hi, Donna. Hi. Nice <laughs> to see you again. Yes. Happy Nag-date Valentine. ka ba? Uh, sa bahay. Sa <laughs> bahay <laughs> lang. Well, ang buhay negosyante. Yes. Sa trabaho. Ayun, magandang umaga, tanghali, gabi, hapon, saan man kayo naroon mga kalipro. Na-miss ko kayo. Last year pa yata yung last natin. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Ayun. we had uh, quite a long uh, break. Break. Mm-mm-mm. Yan, but ayan, we're glad we're back. <laughs> yes, and we're back with the bang. Maganda tong topic natin today kasi sobrang proud ako today kasi I'm surrounded by my mentors, Nax, <laughs> Sir Jerry. And our guest for today is a very special woman. Uh, she has a very good story and she would have, you know, to tell you herself. Uh, but uh, she has single-handedly created an empire. Empire talaga. <laughs> Wow, um, exciting. In the consulting business, <laughs> oh, diba? So, para to sa mga women out there and sa solo parents. So, mm. ayan. So, I'd like to introduce the newly promoted, newly promoted CEO <laughs> of Consult Asia Global. Um, she is a graduate uh, of Oxford University. Diyan lang sa tabi-tabi. Para hindi siya ma-traffic kasi ma-traffic from Makati to Ateneo. <laughs> Atene- ano, Makati to UP. So, nag-flight na lang siya to Oxford. Mas malapit. <laughs> so, I'd like to welcome Miss Tinette Cortez. Hi, Tinette! Hi, Welcome to Lipinor thank Insights. You, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're strangers. Oh, yeah. no. Bati ka muna. Hi, everyone. Lipinors. Um, kumusta kayo dyan? I'm very excited today kasi um, kasama ko yung dalawang idols ko. <laughs> so, thank you. It's a privilege to be here. Yes. And maraming nanonood sa atin, uh, Tinette. Yes. Um, Worldwide yata ito. Yes. Hi to Arnel from KSA. Uh, 
Susi Sue from Layo nito. Kainta. 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 Yeah. Four hours away yan. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, Elma from Qatar and sino ba? Gladys. Yeah, si Elsa Malaysia. is also, uh, si Eliza Ayan. nandito din. Ayan. Hi, Eliza. Eliza. Kamusta ka na? Halipri nun. Yan, si Gladys <laughs> and then si Astillero <laughs> from Taytay Rizal. Yun, for those who just came in, please say hi and where are you from sa ating chat box. And don't forget to share this episode so that more people will be able to watch it. We're live sa ating Facebook page, sa ating Facebook group, and also sa ating YouTube channel. Wala pa nag-comment from our YouTube. Yan. So, please say hi and where are you from sa ating chat box. Tinet! Sherry! Ang ganda ng uh, topic natin. Um, I think marami sa mga, mga nanonood um, gusto magnegosyo and isa sa mga I think magandang negosyo is to be a consultant. Diba? Yes. Lalo na marami yeah. sa kanila very experienced, maraming mga yeah. nag-work sa, yeah. nag sa ibang bansa. Yeah. And I think pwede nilang, in a way, i-monetize yung knowledge nila. Yes. But before exactly. that, siguro maybe you can share your story. Paano ka ba nag-start? Paano ako nag-start as a consultant? So, um, nag-work ako sa hotel before. I was in the hotel industry uh, doing sales. So, mm -hmm. matagal ako sa hotel. Hindi ko nasasabihin kung ilang years kasi mahalata yung age ko. Pero, um, So, and then of course, nag-asawa ko. Mm -hmm. I had a baby, pero unfortunately, hindi nag-work out yung marriage. O di ba, nagkwento na ng <laughs> talambuhay. So, um, after a year of being married, nag-separate kami, nagpa-anal kami, and sabi ko sa sarili ko, anong gagawin ko? You know, um, magbumukmuk ba ako? Araw-araw pumapasok ako sa hotel, and people are asking me, oh, what happened? Ganyan-ganyan. So, sabi ko, I don't want any of this anymore. I'll start my uh, life anew. So then, doon ako nagsimula na sabi ko, magbibusiness ako. Okay? So just like any employee, gusto magnegosyo. So I tried everything. I set up a spa, I set up a travel agency, wow. I set up a restaurant. And to be fair, lahat naman yun naging successful. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang, for some reason, um, nag-attend ako ng isang um, trade show sa SMX. Uh, ng fr yung friend ko ang exhibitor. Tapos na nandun kami sa kanyang ano, booth. Sabi niya, tinet, magto-toilet lang ako. Sabi ko, oh, sige, okay. <laughs> sige. Sabi ko, ano gusto mong gawin ko? Sabi niya, upo ka muna dito, ikaw muna magbantay. Sabi ko, oh, sure. So, nawala lang siya siguro ng mga 10 minutes. And then, nung nakaupo ako doon, may lumapit na medyo elderly gentleman. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, kasi furniture yung binibenta nila. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, wala akong alam sa furniture, mm -hmm. di ba? Mm -hmm. Pero siyempre, feeling ko, nag-feeling lang ako, <laughs> namarunong ako. So, tinanong ako nung... Dahil nung, nakaupo ka sa nakaupo booth. Nakaupo ko na. Eh. Feel na feel ko talaga <laughs> na ako yung may-ari nung, uh, ano, di ba, nung booth. Tapos nang sabi nung, 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 nung prospective client nung, nung friend ko, sabi niya, so, um, ganyan, ganyan, may tinanong siya about the furniture. So, syempre, hindi ko alam yung specs, hindi ko alam yung yeah. presyo, I didn't know anything. Ang, ang na-imagine ko lang is, nung nasa hotel ako, similar yung mga furniture. So, sinabi ko, Sir, kung kayo ay may-ari ng hotel, ito ho ang mangyayari sa hotel niyo. Mm -hmm. You will attract ganyan-ganyan, mga clients, ganyan-ganyan. So, I created a full-blown picture for him. Tapos sabi niya, paano mo nalaman na may-ari ako ng hotel? Sabi ko, hinulaan ko lang ko. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos sabi niya, you know, because I own several hotels. Oh, in wow. The South. Oh, grabe. So, okay. So just to fast forward, na, ang daming na, na close doon, doon sa 10 minutes na yon. May nag-place siya ng orders and all that. Pagbalik ng friend ko, sabi niya, anong kaguluhan ito? <laughs> sabi ko, magulong magulo kasi hindi ko alam yung mga presyo mo and all that. So anyway, to cut the long story short, I had a good chat with this mm. um, elder gentleman. And then sabi niya sa akin, you know what? Sabi niya, I can tell you don't own this kiosk, this business, mm. kasi hindi mo alam yung products, mm. but I like you. Mm. Sabi niya, I want you to, to do something for my hotels. Mm. Sabi niya, ano bang background mo? Sabi ko, hotel din. <laughs> Sabi so, ko pa, sir, five star. <laughs> so anyway, so gano'n, so, so nag-ano kami, nag, uh, nag nagpalita kami ng, ng numbers. And then he invited me, sabi niya, you know, I'm having problems with my hotels. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, oh my God, anong problema ito? Mm -hmm. Buti na lang, ang problema niya, hindi building, mm -hmm. hindi furniture, yeah. hindi furniture, tao. Okay. Sabi ko, Okay, so sabi ko, what are, what exactly are you looking for? Tapos so, sabi niya, ah, gusto ko sana ma, ma, mag, magkaroon sila ng energy na katulad ng energy mo. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, energy lang pala eh. <laughs> 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 May nabibili ba niya? Ah, nabibili lang. <laughs> 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 so, 
so anyway, so that's when it started. Okay. So I, I I asked him what his expectations were, any mga issues. Hanggang sa it was just you know it it happened all naturally. Just sabi niya, sabi niya, what can you do for for my team? Sabi ko, I think I'm I'm just gonna do some sort of a training, uh, mm-hmm. you know, for mm-hmm. the staff on, on work attitude and all that. Mm-hmm. Tapos the okay na, so I went first session. It was a blast. I mean, everybody enjoyed it. Sabi ko, wow, my may kapasidad pala akong mag-train, yeah. you know? Because yeah. I was in sales for the longest time in the yeah. hotel. And then, nung ano, nung na, nagkakasingilan na, sabi niya, mag-gana. Sabi ko, ay, may bayad ko pala ito. <laughs> sabi ko, akala Kala mo. mo libre. Akala ko pa may meriyada, hindi lang ako. Pero sabi niya, I work for food. <laughs> exactly. Sabi niya, ah, may bayad. Uh, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, oh, kayo na ko bahala. So, I didn't uh, yeah. know okay. how to price yeah. it. I, sa, so, he, he gave me some, you know, amount. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, ah, may OR ka ba? Sabi ka, OR ko ng spa. Gusto niyo. Kasi yun yung negosyo. Oo, kasi yun yung negosyo ko. Ano pa yung kayo? Spa? Travel agency? Or restaurant? Sabi niya, hindi. Yung training, yung ginawa mo. Sabi ko, um, wala ko. Ay, nako, Tinette. Hindi ka po pwede mag, mak- hindi ka makakaulit dito pag wala kang resibo. Sabi ko, eh, sir, sa ngayon, eh, gusto niyo, ibalik ko na lang yung bayad niyo. Pakainin niyo na lang ako sa rest. Hindi, hindi, sige, for now, ganyan, ganyan. But the next time, you, uh, you come here, and that's when I, sabi ko, this can be monetized. I mean, this mm-hmm. this thing that I'm doing for this particular mm-hmm. client can be monetized. Mm-hmm. So, of course, I, I went to my accountant and said, so, kailangan ko i-register yung training business. And then, yeah. sabi niya, ano, ano bang nature ng ano, negosyo na itatay mo? Sabi ko, consulting eh. Tapos sabi ng accountant ko, oh, di, i-register na natin. Anong pangalan ba? Sabi ko, hindi ko rin alam. Consultation na lang. Nasa Asia tayo. <laughs> <laughs> Ganun lang talaga. As in, walang kaplano-plano. I didn't really even envision myself to be in this business. But guess what? Sold the travel, uh, well, sold the spa business, um, mm. the restaurant, I sold it as well. Mm. The travel agency, it sort of uh, died a natural death because it was not very um, you know, competitive anymore. And up to now, it's been 10 years and I'm still here. Mm-hmm. So, wow. um, yeah, so that's how Consult Asia was born. <laughs> Serendipitous. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks to my friend who asked me to sit there in the oh, booth. Great. Doon ko na-discover na meron palang business opportunity na gano'n. Wow. Grabe yung kwento na yun eh. Serendipity. Oh. <laughs> so it shows na um, uh, yung, yung pagiging knowledgeable natin, mm-hmm. di ba? Yeah. Uh, marami tayong pwedeng matulungan. Hindi yes. lang yung sarili natin, di ba? Mm-hmm. But if we share our knowledge, uh, inspire other people, mm-hmm. that can also be a good business. Like sinasabi mo, more than 10 years na si Consult yeah. Asia. <laughs> yeah. Yan, so nagsisimula pa lang tayo. If you have questions, Katinet, feel free to ask them, comment lang ng questions nyo, and you'll have a chance to win one of the three books ng today, ng Lipreneur, How to Take the Leap from Employee to Entrepreneur. So, question, kung may question kayo, uh, tanong nyo lang para si Ms. Tinette can answer that. Okay? Again, this is Lipreneur Insights. We do this every Monday, 12 noon to 1 p.m. to inspire you, sabi ni Malin, kasam, kasalos <laughs> na naman sa tang sa tanghalian. Thank you, Malin. So, uh, we do this every Monday, 12 noon to 1 p.m. So, if you want to get notified 30 minutes before we do Lipinor Insights, comment lang po ng insights sa comment section. Yan. Tapos, don't forget to share this episode so that more people will be able to watch it. Si Noel, uh, regards from Cebu. Hi, Noel. Yeah. Si Kit din, nandito. Ayan, yeah, si Kit. Uh, and Eden. Well. Eden. Hi. Hi. Yan. Sobra kong dami natutunan sa 3 minutes na <laughs> but the bottom line is really trust. It's you know, if yeah. if the client likes you and trusts you, then you could close a lot of deals. Yeah. So yun. So ang puhunan po natin mga kalipinor is really your integrity. Yes. So if people can really trust you and can share their problems with you, so that you could solve their problems mm-hmm. for them, that's the beginning of your consulting career. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Galing. Um, so, how did it go from there? So, um, nung, nung uh, establish mo yung consulting mm-hmm. business, mm-hmm. and then, paano mo siya minarket sa iba? Kasi yung iba, um, nahihirapan sila paano mm-hmm. i-market yung sarili. Parang medyo, yes. sabi nila, ayaw naman nila magbuhat ng sariling bangko. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, medyo mahira <laughs> So, paano, paano mo minarket yung okay. Consult Asia? Okay. Um, first, alam ni Donna to. <laughs> Ewan ko ba kung bakit ako, kasi I'm, 
I'm a shy person. Nalata naman din ako. <laughs> I'm sure naniniwala <laughs> yung ano. <laughs> nahalata yan ng mga viewers. Nahihiya talaga ako <laughs> i-market yung sarili ko. That's why ako, naniniwala ako na every happy client mm. is the best marketer. Mm, um, if you notice, I don't, you know, like a, a lot of people would come up to me and say, Tinat, you have to build your own brand. You know, yeah. you have to be the brand. You have to put this poster here and there. And I'm like, Donna, no. Mm. I, it's not my thing. Mm. I Everybody would say, oh, you're coach Tinat. I said, no. <laughs> Please, I'm allergic to that term. Don't ever call, I, I would never ever call myself a coach because I am not. You know what I mean? If I ever coach people it's a verb you know I'm, mm. it's not a title I, uh. I just don't want you know like yeah so ayaw mo yung mga nakikita natin na parang guru ng ganito marami I don't want to say naman na ayaw ko mm. but sa akin just definitely not style. it's just not my style. Not, not style so for me I really like to work quietly I want to talk to one client at a time really dig deep into their issues their problems their expectations um, their nitty gritty you know um challenges at doon ako papasok and i will add value to them so pagka pagka na solve mo yung problema nila in the most quiet sincere genuine manner mm. I, I, ako ha based sa 10 yeah. years hindi, hindi ko na kailangan mag-market in fact up to now marketing mm. is still my ano eh water <laughs> loop mm. ay kung baka parang yun pa rin ang weakness ko mm. I, you know A lot of people would come up to me, Tinat, oh, we should do digital marketing for mm-hmm. Console Asia. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to come up with your own page. and mm-hmm. You have to write a book. You know, mm-hmm. all these things are fantastic ideas. And I'm just excited na ito siguro yung next phase. That's why mm-hmm. Donna's in the team. That's why we have other, you know, partners mm-hmm. like That's yourself. That's why O'Learn is here. Because <laughs> I really never had to market um, proactively. But if, again, yung mga lipreneurs, mga co-lipreneurs natin, Lipreneur na ba ako? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, you were. Okay. Ten years ago. Wala pang lipreneur. So, yung mga lipreneurs, if you guys are really thinking of marketing yourself, um, make your clients happy. Kasi sila yung mag- mag-market for you. And I think that's the most powerful technique. Instead of you coming up with all these fancy videos, True. talking about who you are and what you do. And for me, parang medyo ano yun eh. Uh, ano ba doon doon? Sa akin walang value yon Sa akin. Mm. Uh, sa akin. Mm. Mas, mas valuable sa akin yung isang kliyente, mm. biglang ta- sasabihin yung isa niyang kaibigan na, Parang oy, you've called of Tinet. Mouth. Oh, oh. And then I'm like, I'm gonna get a call from another part of the world. I'm like, yeah. Tinet, can you fly here? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, whoa. Saan ang galing to? Ah, sa Cubao. Ah, Cubao. Wow, layo ah. <laughs> diba? Parang ang galing. Uh, so, so, yun. So, other part of the world, that's so the traffic. No. <laughs> so, medyo non-traditional yung, ano ko, yung approach ko. I'm not the type na who would really actively market it. In this day so, and age of social proof, syempre, you know, we're judged with the likes and all that. Yeah. But in your case, since you're not into digital marketing, do you have social proof? Like, do you have clients who've been with you since the start? Oh, absolutely. Yung yeah, absolutely. Um, more than my uh, fingers i have i've <laughs> toes. Fing- I have 12 fingers <laughs> <laughs> no but yeah yeah meron ako mga cliente since i started na doon na and um and they would and that's why naging consult Asia global is because itong mga naging kliyente ko dito sa philippines may mga global offices all over the world and this is how they marketed my 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 services or whatever you call it your expertise globally so yun ganun Galing, galing. Ako, gustong-gusto ko yung sinasabi mo na ano, you add value. Yes. You add value yeah. rather than, di ba, yung superficial o kaya yeah. ano ba, minsan mm-hmm. bordering, basta, alam <laughs> nyo na yun. <laughs> basta yun, maganda yun, ano, uh, you add value, di ba? And they'll be the best, kumbaga, marketers. Yes. Yan din yung, yan, sinasabi ni Jerry, yan, katokayo ko, ay, kumusta Jerry? Sabi niya, ay, Jerry, pwede sa akin yan, matanda na ako. <laughs> pwede, <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> Kaya tinatanong niya, how do you get clients? And I think perfect yung sagot mo yeah, yeah. na ano. Kung baga, yeah. you, you do your best to satisfy yeah. your client, mm-hmm. di ba? And um, help them sincerely. Yeah. Gusto ko rin yung word na yun na sincerely. Tapos, afterwards, yan, sila na lang. Sila na lang magsasabi sa iba. Siguro, Jerry, dagdag ko lang din. Um, if you're just starting as a consultant, it's also important na to work with training companies mm. also. So, for example, when I was starting, mm-hmm. although I had consult Asia, mm-hmm. merong mga ibang training companies na magkocontact mm-hmm. sa akin. Oh, Tinet, can you do this program yes. for us? 
And syempre, pag ganon, iniintindi ko na they're also in business. Yes. Diba? Because, like, then, then of course, ask that training company, how may I serve you? Uh-huh. Diba? So, pag sinabi nila na, oh, ito muna yung budget namin, ganito, yeah. then, of course, I would say, no problem. Because, uh-huh. again, I am investing eh, sa relationship ko with that training yeah. company. Siya yung may network of clients. Eh. Mm. So, wala, parang feeling ko noon, wala akong karapatan magpresyo sa sa'yo ng yeah. sobrang taas. <clears throat> Kasi nag, nag, nagkakakilala yes. nagkakakilala pa lang tayo. So so yun yung siguro yung advice ko is if you're starting as a consultant um, and you're going to be working with a company, a consulting company, um wag tayo masyadong ma uh, mapaghinaan ng loob kung medyo yeah. si training company or si consulting company medyo consulting for medyo may budget, okay yeah. lang yun kasi tatatak sa isip nila, alam mo itong consultant na to hindi maarte. Yes. Oh, itong consultant na to may may ano may may ibubuga yeah. ganyan. So yeah. I think yun yung parang isang challenge din pag nagsisimula ka. Yeah. Oo na. Yeah, good thing na mention mo yan kasi now that yan we I I have all learned ba I work with different yeah, yeah. Uh, consultants, yes. minsan may mga maarte talaga yes. na parang so, medyo mahirap ka trabaho. Yeah. Tapos meron <laughs> din na, uh, yan, madaling, madali, mm. madaling kausap, yeah. hindi masyadong picky on Mm-mm. kung ano man ang dapat na nandyan. So, so, ako, when I design <clears throat> training, syempre, parang mas priority ko yon kasi madaling yes. katrabaho. Oh. So, in the same way, ganun, that's how you build yeah. relationship. Definitely. Yeah, ang ganda nung na-mention mo. Si Joe is, uh, sabi niya, hello, tapos si Savage plays and games dan then from YouTube. Hi sa inyo, mga nanonood sa YouTube. Si Astillero din, sabi niya, hi po sa inyong lahat, napanood ko po yung YouTube nyo, Sir Jerry, few days ago. Dami niya na natutunan. Salamat, Astillero. Subscribe. Um, yan. Please, uh, for those of you who are watching, again, this is Lipinor Insights. We do this every Monday, 12 noon to 1 p.m. So, comment lang kayo ng insight sa comment section. Insight so we can notify you 30 minutes before we do Lipinor Insights. Also, <clears throat> Ano bosses ko? <laughs> si Carmine, sabi niya, cheers to Net and Donna May. Yeah. One of the directors. And also si Edgar, sabi niya, target to go full-time in training consulting by 2023. Yes. Parang mapapaaga ata. <laughs> yeah, mapapaaga yata. Yan. Salamat, <laughs> Miss Net and Sir Jerry. Welcome, Edgar. Oh, Ayan. Si Jerry ko, sabi niya, ay, um, gusto niya daw yung approach yeah, mo. Thank you. Jen Rich, <laughs> classmate. Yan. Hi, Jen Rich. Again, if you have questions, feel free to Uh, comment below. Uh, you have a chance to win one of the Lipinor books na pamigay namin ngayon. Uh, just comment and ask your questions. Also, um, announce ka lang pala, this coming March 3 and 4, we'll be having our first ever online summit, business summit. So, online po siya. Wherever you are in the Philippines or in the world, you can attend. And ang theme namin is helping SMEs become world class. So, if you want to attend, just comment summit in the comment section. Comment lang po ng summit in the comment section so we can provide more details. And by the way, It's free. It's free. Yeah. Okay, so libre siya uh, para po sa inyo lahat yan. We have uh, more around 20 speakers from four different countries. So, wag niyo pong papalagpasin. Ayan. Ayan. Speaking yes. of free, yes. <laughs> alam mo na ba ang pricing ngayon? <laughs> Dahil dati free ka to. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you parang start uh, pricing the program that you sell to your class? Yeah. Um, Okay, this is a very tricky question ha kasi iba-iba when when you speak of consulting kasi you have like one-to-one consulting, meron kang training, you know. Mm-hmm. So kunwari pag training, well meron namang mga industry rates. ano eh rates, di ba? So of course, titingnan mo ano ba yung position mo sa market. Ikaw ba ay coming in as the uh, uh you know, medyo super affordable mm-hmm. newbie or <laughs> ano or are again, depende kasi sa binibigay mong service or value, okay, value. ba? Ako kasi, pag nakipag-usap ako sa kliyente, tinatanong ko muna, ano ba talaga ang hanap mo? Anong kailangan mo? Scope of work. How valuable is this thing that you're looking for to your business, to your organizational success? Kapag mahalaga yon, then that's where I come in. Yes. No, Kasi pag sinabi lang niya na, hindi, kailangan ko lang ng training, pero ang budget ko, ganito. Tsaka, 20 kayong magbibid or whatever, yeah. hindi na ako nag-join sa ganon. Uh, Kasi it's really not, for me, 
I just don't want to conduct a training workshop just for the sake of doing it. Mm. No, na mm. nagpatawa ka, nagpasaya yeah. ka, nag, yeah. you know. Um, for me, I would rather just work with a handful of clients mm-hmm. who are high-paying clients mm. because they know your value. Mm. And ako rin, alam ko rin na yung binibigay kong solution sa kanila yeah. will have a, a, a very significant impact yeah. sa organizational success. Kasi sa akin, kung magpapatawa lang or magpapasaya lang or gusto ko tawagin yung anak ko, 16 years old, anak, magpatawa ka. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's easy to entertain clients yeah. and ano, but to really help them. For example, mm-hmm. dyan papasok yung anong ROI, paano may imi-measure yeah. yung ROI, yeah. yung service mo. Yeah. Diba? Pag, nag, pag tumulong ka, um, ilang tao ba ang, ang you know, magiging successful dun sa business na yun? Yeah. Uh, ilang percent mag-i-increase ang sales nila? Yeah. Uh, babawas ba ang absenteeism? Or, yeah. or tataas ba ang kanilang uh, rating? You mm. know, in terms of branding and mm. all that. I mean, ang dami. Yeah. Ang dami. So, doon ako mas nagpo-focus. Yeah. So, in terms of how do I price it, again, depende sa scope ng work. That's why, um, yung sinabi nga natin, how do you get um, paid well? First of all, wag natin muna isipin yung pera. Isipin mo muna, ano ba yung match na ano an, paano mo i-match yung yung expertise mo doon sa problema ng kliyente mm-hmm. kasi kung walang match wag ka na makipag-transact yeah. di ba mag-coffee na lang kayo <laughs> yoga na lang kayo or you know but Totoo. it's really really that it so it's not the money talaga at mm-hmm. first and when we're starting it's really not the money you have to invest on yourself you have to be good at what you do so that mm-hmm. they see your value then in the mm-hmm. end sila na yung offer to, to really pay yeah. you. We have a question from Erwin Bruno. Ayan. So, he asked, how do you keep updated sa field or industry? And do you have a mastermind or group of consultants? Consultants, yeah. yeah. Magandang question yan, Erwin. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Erwin. Well, iba-iba. Again, <clears throat> it's the same as running any business. So, if you're running a restaurant, iba, you have to keep upgrading your equipment, your 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 chairs, your mm-hmm. your your mm-hmm. resto itself. Mm-hmm. In the same manner pag consulting business, ang produkto kasi ikaw. Mm-hmm. So you also have to keep upgrading yourself. How? You attend se- ako I attend seminars up to now. I listen. I listen even to young trainers. I listen to them kasi I I learn from them a lot. And so um para ma-update, ako I really invest in in my in my own seminar. I, I attend uh, mm-hmm. workshops, mm-hmm. whether here or overseas. Um, again, depends sa gusto mong um, fo- area of focus. Because if you're focusing on, kunari ako kasi, uh, gusto ko talaga soft skills, no? Or mm-hmm. empowering people. So, eh, hindi na ako masyado mag attend ng digital marketing or something. Kasi si Donna na yun. <laughs> <laughs> At si Jerry. So, hindi na ako masyado mag-waste ng time. Do- I'm not saying it's a waste of time, but I'm just saying na I can collaborate na lang with experts like themselves and really deepen my knowledge. Uh, so, for example, how do I keep updated? I, I always attend um, seminars na ganun. And I read books, of course, and watch videos and meet people every day. So, and you're flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fly at night. <laughs> <laughs> you're flying somewhere to attend the conference. Yeah, yeah. Oh I'm goodness. speaking yeah, yeah, on yeah. the uh, 26th. Yeah. Wow. Oh, saan, saan? Yeah. Sa Florida. Orlando. Wow. Oh, di ba sa Disney? Right. Thank so, you. Thank you. So, if you put in the work in 10 years, kayo na yung magta-talk doon. <laughs> <laughs> Oy, no. pero hindi. The most, um, for me, uh, the most unforgettable talaga are still my talks here in the Philippines. Mm. Because, um, for example, yung I, I went to Basila, and yeah. really spoke to you know the uh, ladies there and it's really life changing for me it's life changing kaya nandito pa rin syempre yung heart ko you know just going global is it's it's a perk it's it's a nice way to again upgrade yourself pero at the end of the day syempre ang focus ko is yeah. how we can empower our fellow Filipinos I have a here. question may naalala yeah. lang <laughs> excuse me I think related to sa question ni Irwin mm-hmm. in the Philippines kasi we're very particular with the letters after the name Okay, mm. you know, so mm. to be seen as, uh, you know, an expert mm. or, you know, a thought guru and something, uh, in the Philippines especially, mm. you know, they're looking at that. Yeah. So, do you have any, any letters, letters after my name? <laughs> um, letter S, Cortez. <laughs> <laughs> you can add another S, Cortez. Yes, Para plural. <laughs> but what, do you, yeah, well, what are your thoughts on actually, that? Actually, I guess, kahit naman noon pa, di ba, sa probinsya namin, 
pagka hindi ka doktor, hindi ka yeah. lawyer, hindi ka engineer, wala kang attorney, wala mm-hmm. kang doktor, wala kang engineer, hindi ka successful. Mm-hmm. So I think, I, I'm not really sure about these letters, so kung may MBA ka man, kung PhD ka man. For me, it really, it really doesn't matter because like, this, this, these letters look good on paper. Mm-hmm. Diba? They really mm-hmm. look good on paper. But yung katulad ko, yung course ko, may letters yon Pero hindi ko na ilalagay yung letters. Na, <laughs> kasi nakakahiya pag tinanong tao, ano to? Mm-hmm. Diba? So for me, um, I just keep it, you know, to myself. And then just, again, ano yung maibabalik mo na lang? With those letters, ano yung maibabalik mo na story? Na? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hindi lang letters, but story of you know other people's lives so mm-hmm. you and so mm-hmm. i guess that yeah. would be in- inspiring for you out there who's thinking of starting this business na you don't have to start at the top parang mm-hmm. progress not perfection yeah. <laughs> you yeah. cannot really mm-hmm. expect to be the best right away you have to show up every time you yeah. have to be there you mm-hmm. have to hone your skills before exactly. you could be a highly paid consultant yeah. at saka yeah. ang bawat araw iba Iba, iba today sa tuk- bukas. Mm. When I was employed, everything was predictable. Yeah. Like, okay, may meeting, di ba? Check your emails. Yeah. You know, submit this report. Talk to your clients. But ito sa consulting kasi, walang parehong araw. I mean, Roller today, coasters. Yes, it is. So you have to be, <laughs> you have to be very prepared for that. Yeah. Yan, thank you so much, uh, Erwin, for that question. Yes. Ngayon, uh, if you have other questions, yan, feel free to ask them <coughs> para si Ms. Lynette can answer them. And also, um, please share this episode so that more people will be able to watch it. Okay? Um, si Edgar, may question din. Sabi niya, may consulting framework ba to follow? Uh, like understanding client strategies and objectives, gap analysis, reporting of results, etc. Yeah. Gandang question, Edgar. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Yes. Okay. So, yes. May iba-ibang frameworks tayong pwedeng sundan. But then, in my case, kasi nung inaral ko yun, yung iba-ibang frameworks from training needs analysis to training design to tra- ang dami-daming sophisticated frameworks and ako mismo nasa stress so sobrang sophisticated ng framework so sabi ko if I myself am stressed out by these frameworks I'm gonna stress out my client as well so I developed my own um, ang suggestion ko dito uh, do what works for you no? but of course ang pinaka ang basic naman dyan is of course you have to understand what the client needs ano yung issues ano yung objectives ano yung hindi nag-work or mm-hmm. ano yung nag-work before and then from there, where how can you get them unstuck, ba, from that position? Because yun lagi eh, when, when clients call you when they feel stuck, diba? Kunwari, okay, my staff are not performing, or my yeah. business is uh, gonna get acquired by you know an, a giant uh, you know co- mm. company, whatever. So they feel stuck. So when you meet with your client, the first thing that you really need to focus on is to get them unstuck. And for you to be able to do that, you have to listen. Listen, listen, mm. listen. Ask open-ended questions. You know, what is it that's not working right now? How do you see this working out? You know, what if given these options, what would you pick? I mean, come up with all sorts of questions. Parang ano lang yan eh? Parang... Um, uh, nagsusukat ka ng damit, di ba? O hindi mo naman po pwedeng sabihin na, ay, medium ka, di ba? So, we can't just come into a client's office and say, oh, ano ka na, ito, itong problema mo. So, magkakondakta ko ng customer service training. You can't just do that. Because baka ang problema, baka attitude, baka, baka mental health, di ba? So, we don't know. So, uh, yes, so the, the framework... Um, you can start with a gap analysis, then you design something, design your intervention, and then you deliver it in the most efficient manner, okay? At, paano, at of course, you have to measure the results. Yes. Yun pinaka exactly. yeah. diba? How do you measure the results? Iba-iba. Kasi, iba-iba. Kasi yeah, yeah. minsan tricky din siya. Yes. So, iba-iba. Meron tayong mga metrics na sinusundan. Um, meron din tayong mga iba-ibang... We can either conduct a survey, we can do interviews, or we can do... Um, uh, pre and post uh, mm-hmm. training Train evaluations or ROIs. Mm-hmm. ROIs. So, mm-hmm. marami, Jerry. Mm-hmm. Actually, um, exciting siya kasi you can create your own unique mm-hmm. uh, way of measuring. Mm-hmm. Oo. So, again, depende. Kapag ang measure mo ay itong area lang, wag mo nang haluan ng mga 
complicated stuff. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, mm-hmm. so, hindi siya one size fits all. No. And yeah. keep it simple. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wag exactly. na tayong magpa-design thinking, design thinking. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, Although it's the yeah. same thing. It's exactly what you're saying. So, it starts mm-hmm. with empathy. It starts with listening yeah. with your client. Absolutely. And then you iterate, iterate, iterate. But, you know, simple things empathy make everything so simple. <laughs> empathy is so yeah. important. Because sometimes, ang tendency ng consultant is to keep talking and talking yeah. and talking. 80% of the time, we have to be listening. Yeah. And only 20% mo ipipitch how you can help them and then mm-hmm. if there's willingness kung willing na sila to co- mm-hmm. cooperate with you then that's where you start building the value mm-hmm. yeah. you don't just price it at the onset na yeah. oh Jerry mm-hmm. ito ang fees mm-hmm. ko mm-hmm. meron pa nga mga consultant parang taxi eh mm-hmm. kada mm-hmm. metro per hour oh, or, or, or parang yes, kunare so. um, pwede ako humiram ng humingi ng outline let's say in my business uh, in our business uh-oh. training in our business training <laughs> pwede humingi ng course outline oh sige 5,000 na mm-hmm. it's like uh, uh, Ano value ng outline? <laughs> Pwede mo naman nga i-cut and paste yun, di ba? It downloads. Uh-oh. Exactly. Yeah. So for me, it's like you have to learn to to work with grace also mm-hmm. and with yeah. taste. You know yeah. what I mean? Sometimes kasi if, if you're always working with a price tag on your head, it, it cheapens also your practice. Yeah. So I would really recommend you focus on the client first, build the trust, and then from there, build the value. Yan, ang ganda. Sabi ni Edgar, listen to the client, ask open questions. Yes. Yan, do what works for you. It's mm-hmm. efficient delivery. Yan, if you have other questions, please feel free to ask and you'll have a chance to win this Lipinor book, How to Take the Leap from Employee to Entrepreneur. Again, this is Lipinor Insights. We do this every Monday, 12 noon to 1 p.m. So if you want to get notified 30 minutes before we do Lipinor Insights, comment lang po ng insights sa comment section. Okay, comment ng insights sa comment section and also, um, remind ko lang kayo ulit, we'll be doing our first ever um, online business summit, yeah. O-Learn Online Business Summit on March 3 and 4. We have more th- around 20 speakers from four different countries to help you level up or become world class. So, comment lang kayo ng summit. Comment kayo ng summit sa comment section so that we'll be able to uh, give you details on how you can register for... Free. Yan. Um, Tinet, yung isang, I think, one of the best, uh, one of the struggles ng isang aspiring entrepreneur is capital. Yeah. Yes. Diba? Sabi, pag nag ng business, baka wala akong masyadong pera, walang ipon, etc. Yeah. And I think ito, magandang business because how much uh, pala yung, yung capital mo when you started for this uh, this business? Um, Pag sinabi mo kasing capital, you're talking about financial capital. Mm-hmm. Pero sa yes. consulting kasi, it's more on human capital. Mm-hmm. You, you invest much of your time, mm-hmm. your effort, your, your um, you know, yung, yung pagiging persistent mo sa sarili mo. Um, I, I would, I don't want to sound too idealistic, pero kaya mong simulan to kahit walang capital eh. I mean, if meron kang cellphone, and which mm-hmm. I think everyone, everyone yes. has naman, di ba? Um, and you can connect with one person. Let's say, meron kang friend. Let's say you're, I don't know, maybe you're somewhere. You're in Saudi Arabia or Dubai or whatever. Meron kang kaibigan na, na, na nawawala na ng gana sa trabaho, for example. Diba? Then, uh, one of the things that we can ask him is, bakit ka nawawala ng, tra- ng, ng gana mm-hmm. sa work? Mm-hmm. Ah, no, kasi yung boss ko masyadong, you know, whatever. Um, hindi, hindi magaling mag-manage or nadidemotivate na ako and all that. And then maybe, you know, that's that's your first client, you know, that mm-hmm. company. Maybe yeah. ang pwede mo sabihin sa friend mo, o sige tayo, dahil magkaibigan tayo, we can go out drinking tonight, but you have to introduce me to your HR mm-hmm. tomorrow. And then talk to the HR and say, look, uh, it seems like I may be of help to you, you mm-hmm. know, if if ever na magkasundo nga kayo dun sa, mm-hmm. you know, you ask questions, mm-hmm. how are you motivating your employees, etc. Mm-hmm. So, for me, you don't have to have an office right away or, you know, some consultants kasi agad-agad, branding agad eh, mm, diba? Mm-hmm. Business card, logo, ano yes. logo ng consulting uh-huh. business ko. Pwedeng wala pa lahat yun. Ang pinaka-importante is, uh, ma-go ma- ma- through mo muna yung buong process. Mm-hmm. If you are able to, if you're able to, um, what do you call this, uh, go through that whole process of identifying gaps, you know, mm-hmm creating proposals and all yeah. that, then masasabi mo na, okay, kaya ko nang, yeah. you know, 
yeah. magsimula. So, capital, ang capital papasok lang talaga pag there are already other consultants working with mm. you who are already, kunwari, the client will not pay you outright. Mm -hmm. But you have to pay your consultant. Then, you just yeah. have to have the enough funds to do that. Yeah. But that's just about it. Yeah. Oo, oo. So, so, yan. So, magandang negosyo talaga to because, um, yan, aside from minimal capital, you're also able to help other people. And I think mm -hmm. yung, yung fulfillment mo yeah. Yeah. sa ganitong negosyo, uh, mm -hmm. mataas. Yeah. Diba? Because you can see the direct impact of what you're doing mm -hmm. sa, sa mga clients natin, yeah. sa businesses nila. Exactly. Si Coach AJ is watching. Hi, AJ. Hi. Yun. <laughs> uh, si Coach AJ is our mentor sa ating public speaking uh, training. So, salamat Coach AJ for watching. Sabi niya, with regards to outlines daw, we also need to be cautious when giving this out. It's not that we're just concerned about money. It's also about the clients themselves stealing your brain, which is very true, di ba? Um... I am okay with building trust and relationship with caution. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kasi minsan din, ah, may sinasabi ni Coach AJ, mm -hmm. minsan din, yun. Yes. Okay. Some clients take advantage lang. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, uh, mm. For me naman, my take mm. on this is, you can't really stop clients from from stealing your brain. I mean, mm. if you write a book, I mean, how many how many thoughts has Tony Robbins given out there na ninanakaw mm -hmm. din ng lahat? You know what I mean? Sorry to say <laughs> yeah. that, but it's the reality. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think, um, I see where you're coming from, AJ, but I think it's also um, bet be be between trust and, you know, yung binanggit ko kanina na parang taxi nga, na, kasi may mga experience akong gano'n na ang consultants talagang demanding. Mm -hmm. Like every outline is like 5,000. Mm -hmm. Outline lang ang hinihingi namin, hindi yung material. Mm -hmm. This is very, very clear mm -hmm. naman sa mga consultants. Yeah. No, we're not asking you to... To put in there whatever framework you're working, yeah. you're, we're, you're gonna offer or the solution. We're just looking at the. Pag nakita, okay, can I work with this person? Uh, you know, because ito yung yeah. balak niyang ipresent. But yun, ang, ang suggestion ko, wag niyong ilagay ka agad yeah. yung. Um, sorry, the may nakita kong comments sa ilalim na gusto mong kaya. Okay, um, yeah, yung sequence. And then, parang ano yung ang suggestion ko sa outline, ano yung magiging outcome? Mm -hmm instead of ano yung pag-uusapan mo. Mm. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, for example, ganda, number one, ganda. for example, number one, um, getting the participants to appreciate their vision and mission statements. Mm. That's it. I mean, you know, mm. I think that's very generic, but at least the client will see, ah, okay, this will be covered, so okay, boom, boom, boom. Mm. I can work mm. with this person. Siguro, okay. mga kalipuner, it's, it's uh, when we talk about outlines, do not mm -hmm. give your secret sauce. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. And don't an show outline. all your cards. Yeah, it's just exactly. a basic outline. Uh, yeah. So then generic. you don't have, you don't feel that you have to yes. charge uh -oh. the client for it. Mm -hmm. So uh -oh. that the trust will be built yeah. then. And it's also about the execution. Because anybody can have fancy the same outlines. Outline. Exactly. But Ang delivery iba. the delivery yeah. would be different. Exactly. And that's where your value comes in and how you deliver you know, mm -hmm. the program. Yeah, and si Ray, sabi niya, proud of my two BFF daw, Tinet and Donna. <laughs> Greetings from yeah. Arizona. Yeah, we met. We, Donna and I met because of Raymond. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. He's my business partner in Children of Mary Montessori. <laughs> and we've been friends for 25 years. Yeah. That's how Grabe, we are. 25 years. Si Sophia from <laughs> Dubai is also watching on Hi. the way to work. Hi, uh, Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Yeah. For, yeah. for those who just came in, uh, please say hi and where are you from. And also, if you have questions, yan, we still have a few more minutes. Mm -hmm. Just type your question and you have a chance to win one of the three books that we're giving out today. Uh, Lipinor, How to Take the Leap from Employee to Entrepreneur. Yan. Um, Chan, dami na natin ng pag-usapan. <laughs> Tanong ni... Japanese brand. Yeah. Uh, consultant daw of what? So, when you say consultant, uh, ano ba yung definition? or a consultant, ano siya? a consultant is basically an expert in a particular area. So, for example, you're a... Um, let's say... Let's say, carpintero ka ngayon, di ba? Mm -hmm. You can come mm -hmm. up with a consulting practice as a carpenter, training future carpenters. Mm -hmm. Or you can also become a, um, you know, you can, you can, again, digitalize carpentry. Mm -hmm. You know, again, mm -hmm. a, a consultant is an expert who's got experience and who has empathy for people. I, I think yun yung tatlong is ko eh. You have mm -hmm. to have empathy, mm -hmm. you have to be able to um, connect with people, Number two, um, you have to have experience in a certain field. Mm -hmm. Na naging expert ka, 
and then next is you're able to um, you know uh, to give solutions to problems of, of clients so yeah thank you Ryu si Ryu, <laughs> yeah, si Ryu daw. <laughs> it's true and better right. the minimum number of experience to go into consulting number Baka, of years o paano kunwari one year ka pa lang na na nag-work uh, for example can you be a, yeah. so my kunwari kunwari 21 years old lang ako kunwari <laughs> that was 3 years ago <laughs> okay no 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 kunwari 21 years old ako di ba mm-hmm. tapos i realized na let's say nag-work ako sa isang i don't know for example isang can you name an industry uh, hotel na lang hotel ako na eh nag-work ako sa hotel at 21 and i realized after a year ayaw kong mag uh, maging empleyado Mm-hmm. Gusto ko maging consultant. Mm-hmm. Okay? Aalamin ko muna, okay, wala akong masyadong experience sa hotel, pero may experience ako, bakit ko naayawan yung pag-work sa pagiging empleyado. So, siguro number one is, um, I don't know, maybe uh, ayoko ng 8 to 5, maybe yeah. ayoko ng bumabiyahe na malayo, maybe ayoko ng may boss. Then, yun yung kukunin kong mga ingredients. And then, magiging consultant ako ng mga kabataan na tulad ko, na papano ko ma ma overcome yung mga ganon how how can I become a, um, or how can I overcome ganito ganyan uh, yung pagiging takot sa boss or ayon ng boss or you can consult sa mga hotels on what not to do you know with <laughs> yeah. with, so a, with 21 year olds yeah. mm-hmm. you know what I mean mm-hmm. or like my daughter just a case in point my daughter is 16 pero ngayon sabi niya mama why can't you develop a program on how to parent Gen Zs. <laughs> yeah. Or, di ba? Parang ganyan. So, sabi ko, yeah, but I'm not a Gen Z. Sabi niya, but I am. You can get yeah. insights from me. So, mm-hmm. siya, pwede siyang maging resource, di ba? Mm-hmm. Hindi siya consultant, but she can be a resource. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, the bottom line is really having a problem and having a creative solution to Correct. solve that. So, it's not your age. It's not mm-hmm. how long mm-hmm. you've been working in a certain industry. Mm-hmm. So, yun. So, mm-hmm. this business is really for everyone. You know, mm-hmm. as long as you have the the heart, you know, mm-hmm. to, to to reach out and help anyone mm-hmm. out there, you know, yeah. it could be for you. Yeah. yeah. And, and siguro, gusto ko rin pag-usapan ano naman yung we've talked about the many good things about yes. being a consultant. Yes. Ano naman yung mga challenges, <laughs> yes. challenges. Na, ng ganitong yeah. business? Yeah. Like, natutulog ka na ba? Tatawag yung client mo? <laughs> Madaling araw at uh, ano yun, mag, mag-consult o mag, mag-i-air ng problema niya. Ano yun yung mga challenges yes. ng ganitong business? Actually, ako, Jerry, honestly, hindi ako, I don't see that as a challenge mm-hmm. sa client side. Mm-hmm. Ang challenge dito nasa consultant side eh. mm-hmm. If you have a consulting business and you have consultants in your team, mm-hmm. yun yung problema. Especially when they start getting your clients. You know what Ooh, I mean? When they start okay. practicing their own consulting careers <laughs> using your clients. And, and then your client calls oh. you and says, Tinette, why is your consultant contacting uh, us directly? And this uh, is where the problem starts coming in. And I don't okay. see it as a problem on the financial side. I see it as a problem on the relationship side. Right? Because mm. how could I look at this person in the eye mm. and mm. confront this person whom, mm. I, whom I trusted for years mm. and then all of a sudden because there's a project dito sa isang client, yeah. dumidiretso siya. Yes. That's number one. Yun okay. yung number one problema namin sa, sa, sa consulting business. When the cl- consultants become greedy, when the yeah. consultants become too ambitious that they want to take you out of the equation. Okay. Which is, I guess human nature, human nature. survival survival uh, yeah. mechanism siguro nila yun, but um, it's the relationship kasi that suffers. Mm. So I think that's mm. the number one um, mm. challenge. No? Mm-hmm. Um, number two siguro would be um, it's not regulated kasi. The consulting business, diba? unlike for example real estate mm-hmm. or, diba? or education, yeah. walang regulatory ano eh, na body magsasa- oversee, oh, na body na mag-oversee if yeah. the uh, ethics may standards. Being, you know, may standards ba para masabi na consulting firm ka, dapat gan- walang ganun. Yeah. Although there okay. are like mm-hmm. training and development organizations, right? Like yes, yes. PCS. Yes, or... yes, yes, yes. Uh, PSTB. PSTB pala. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Um, so now it's called Philippine Society of Talent Development. Mm-hmm. So that's another. That's 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 a good group. Um, 
Pero again, hindi katulad ng kunwari, PRC, PRC yeah. na talagang yeah. mm. professional. Mm. You have a board lahat. exam for this. Yes, exactly. Or a license right. to, to be called a consultant. Especially now with the freelance um, yeah. you know, opportunity, yeah. it's very easy to say na, hey, I'm a consultant. So, yeah. so again, um, the challenge is how do you compete with, let's say, a client. Kunwari, a client says, Tinet, you know, consultation versus this freelance, mm-hmm. ano. Mm-hmm. So how do you compete? Ako, I don't dwell on it na parang sige, if you wish to work with a freelance, yeah, that's fine. fine. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. fine. We were not gonna ano. So at least now we know that this company works with freelance um, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. consultants. Mm-hmm. But if you want a full-blown consulting firm to, to 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 do it, you know, like for example, kasi kami sa Consult Asia, we have offices uh, mm-hmm. in four continents. So kunwari oil and gas, kunwari mm-hmm. yung industry dito. Um, and gusto nilang may makausap na legal mm. consultant uh, mm. from the UK mm. or from the from North America. Then mm. we have those um, you know those uh, uh, partnerships. Mm-hmm. So it's easier for the client also to yeah. to, to to deal with their yeah. issues. Pag ganon. But if they all they want is a one day training, mm-hmm. you know, just to motivate their mm-hmm. employees, magpatawa and mm-hmm. just then. Mm-hmm. It, you know, mm. it's okay. We're not yeah. gonna. So there are levels. It. So th- mm-hmm. y- there's the freelancers where w- I believe all of us started that yes. way, mm-hmm. yes. and then eventually you could, uh, you know, collaborate with other consultants mm-hmm. and you form a partnership yeah. or a in co- com- company, and then you grow from there. Mm-hmm. So from the southern gentleman mm-hmm. to four continents, mm-hmm. I think <laughs> that's <laughs> know, that's the story. Uh, you you have to build the company slowly, one client at a time. And Don, if I may just emphasize that in this kind of practice or in this kind of business, the client is always king. Sila dapat yung focus, mm. hindi tayo. Kasi mm. minsan, we have the tendency to, to, to say na, oh, I'm, the, I'm uh, uh, an expert, you know, I, I'm this, I'm that, uh, you know. Yeah. And, and it turns off the client. So I think it's very, very... Um, <laughs> Uh, I got distracted by Rai's question, the last <laughs> one. Okay, so it's very important to put the client first. And mm-hmm. sila yung, even during yeah. training uh, sessions, it's the client, it's the participants, ano, uh, sila yung center of, mm-hmm. ano, of attention. So, yeah, we call it sa, sa <laughs> tech center of gravity. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Si Marie is also asking, um, kasi if you can, yeah. if you have mm-hmm. different skills, okay, yeah. ba, different, yeah. mm-hmm. Uh, ano ba potential niches yes. or niche, niche. Uh, uh, how do you figure out um it took me a while to to identify my niche in fact if i share you with you my niche now baka ma, ma <laughs> ano, ano kayo sobrang niche naman but but in the beginning i would not recommend that you be too hard on yourself in determining the niche because you have to try out different industries mm. first um ako like ako I worked in the hotel for several years, but my niche is not the hotel industry now. I mean, a lot of people would say, Tinet, you should focus on hospitality, but it's just not my niche. Mm. It's just not my niche. Parang, um, my niche is something else, which Donna knows very well. Um, but how do you how do you figure it out? I guess just by doing things every day, um, catering to everybody, maybe in your first year of practice, cater to everyone first. Because it's hard to just say, no, I'm going to be a... You know, a millennial, whatever, and yeah. focusing only on male, you can't. Eh? You you have to to get out there, get your hands dirty, talk to people, make mistakes, and then you realize, ano ba talaga yung nasa gut mo? Ano ba yung gusto ng heart mo talaga? Mm-hmm. If if your mm-hmm. focus is, you just want to work with, let's say, um, overseas Filipino workers who are based in the Middle East, kuraari yun lang yun yung niche mo, then go for it. Mm-hmm. Um, even if you're based in the Philippines, diba? So again, depende. Um, you will, it will unfold naturally, I think. So uh, go wide before you go deep. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ganda ng tip na yun. <laughs> <laughs> yun, try you said. How yeah. much do you typically make in a month? Ano bang range uh-huh. ng potential ng isang consulting business? Depende. Consulting. Again, depende. Kung consultant para. How much was your largest paycheck that you oh wrote for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what they wanted to hear. <laughs> How no, many figures? Let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. It's not gonna be your payroll account who will write your check. You will write your own check. Let's put it that way. Okay? And the, whichever bank you're gonna in cash that mm-hmm. uh, at 
will not complain. <laughs> <laughs> so, write your own check. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yan. I, I guess it's a high potential business. It diba? is. It so, is. It is. Yan. Uh, depende na lang sa inyo. You can... Yan. It's uh, no, it's a, a function of how much you could give to the client. Because sabi nung dati kung boss, yeah. uh, you don't chase the money. You chase your growth and your money. The money will chase after you. So we just... Uh, <laughs> quote, the whole quote. Full of wisdom. Yeah. Because it's Donna. Dapat si Donna yung ano. Palit tayo. From you guys. Yan. Yeah. And I think, um, yan, yeah, we're almost, gabi, sobrang bilis. We're almost oh, wow. done. Two minutes na lang. Yeah, two minutes na lang. Um, Siguro, tip, if, if there's one thing that, ano, um, second to the last question, if there's one thing that helped you with your business, mm-hmm. di ba, you've done a lot of things, ano yun? Um, siguro yun lang, um, get out of your comfort zone. Um, it's really not nice to be stuck in your comfort zone. It's just comfortable, mm-hmm. but it's not really mm-hmm. gonna stretch you. Um, I think uh, you have to really ch- you have that mindset na there's more to, to, to what, I can do now. No, there, there, I can. I can help people. I can add value to people. I can create a positive impact on people, and duplicate yourself. I mean, if you're already helping a lot of people, then empower and equip and help other people to do the same thing as you are, and then then exponential na yung magiging impact mo. So, yeah. Very nice. <laughs> and um. Yeah. So I guess dun sa mga aspiring entrepreneurs, ano yung may do you have other advice for them to how to they can get started with this business? Um ako ang okay, uh, this may sound really simplistic, but if you're employed now or if you're, you know, in whatever business you're in, I think it's very very important that you do your best kung nasan ka ngayon because for example, employed ka um, and ang trabaho mo, let's say, um, IT, di ba? Pagbutihin mo na yung pagiging IT mo dyan. Kasi mm. yan yung magiging pukunan mo mm. para sa magiging consulting practice mo. So can you imagine if as an IT officer, alam mo lahat, di ba, ng, ng facets of IT, then it's easier to become a consultant rather than pumapasok ka lang sa trabaho na, you know, you just show up for the paycheck. But yeah. you're not really adding value to your yeah. employer. So that would be the first step. And then number two, start asking yourself, aside from my current employer, in the future, who else will benefit from my expertise? Uh, kung hindi lang yung employer mo, then who else? Diba? So then you can start identifying your, your, your target market. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then from there, um, again, I would really recommend work with a consulting firm first instead of getting into your own um, um, practice because it's really going to be very, very exciting also to learn from other consultants. Yeah. So, yeah. Consultants like AJ, oh. yeah, <laughs> he so, said that apart from the money earned, I reckon that the true consultant or trainer is more fulfilled when he or she knows he left a mark on that yeah. organization. And very that true. Well yeah, diba? when you, grabe yung fulfillment mo, diba? when you Absolutely. know that you've left a mark Absolutely. in that organization. And, and it's not just the organization as a whole, but the individuals who are mm. part of that organization, they'll message you saying that, you know, we, we feel more comfortable now working with our boss because of that intervention. Mm. Or we feel more, more motivated to come to work because of, you know, whatever. So, yeah. You know, very, yes. very, ano talaga yun. You wake up to those in the morning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, AJ, also. Sabi niya, uh, you should do more bite-sized episodes like this. Yeah. And si uh, GB, yeah, hi. Uh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Any, Thank you. ano, um, last words. Uh, last words sa kanila. You may want to invite them to check out Consult uh, Asia. Yes, please. Uh, please do visit our um, website at uh, consultasiaglobal.com. And then you can also like our Facebook page. And um, yeah, and then from there, we, hopefully, you can attend some of our um, workshops with um, Jerry. Yeah, with next month, well. Meron. Yes, so, for what yeah. more? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, effective supervisory skills, and uh, there's another one. Uh, I think it's March 11, then you decide. It's about if building uh, um, effective teams. teams yes. yon. So, yon, check us out here at Alern and Alcott.
Yes. Thank you so much, Tinet. Very, uh, ano yun? Thank you so much. Rich also. discussion yes. <laughs> about ayan, being a consultant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> ano mga learnings natin doon? Oh, ayan, dami. <laughs> First of all, yun nga, like what everybody's saying, it's really not about the money, at, you know, it, hmm. but eventually it will, you'll be surprised when, you know, you wake up one day and you know pala yung value mo because the clients will really you know uh, show you how much you're worth and number two it's really all about integrity because mm. the problems really start there um, you just have to be grounded uh, you kind of have to start with your heart because it's a heart problem most of the time <laughs> yun and then last siguro is continue to inspire people uh, mm. because as you inspire people you get inspired yourself yeah. So, yeah. yeah, very true. And ako gusto gusto ko yung ano yung sinabi nga ni Tinet kanina na you add value, di ba? More than more than asking about how much you can get, di ba? From yeah. from this deal or from this client, as how much value you can provide. And from there, di ba? Susunod na lang. Sabi nga ni Donna then the money will follow. Yes. And yun yung in-stress mo about listening. Yes. I think maganda yun because mm. some consultants nga are, di ba? Are, are too, ano ba? Masa. Yan. Tapos, parang, I think... Parang, look at me. Look yeah. at me. I'm the consultant. I'm the, you know, sometimes that, that turns off the clients yeah. also. Diba? And it's not effective. So. Yeah, so very important that we listen to our clients para mas malaman natin how we can help them. Ayan, so maraming salamat ulit sa inyo. We promise to give out three copies of the Lipreneur book, How to Take the Leap from Employee to Entrepreneur. So ang winners natin, congratulations, Ki Erwin Bruno, Ki Edgar Agustin, and Ki Marie Mark. Kiala. Kiala. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. So congratulations, Erwin, Edgar, and Marie. Um, just uh, contact email Haina, J-A-E-N-A at olearn.com to uh, know how you can claim this uh, book. Okay, so congratulations Olet. And to all of you, thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Lipreneur Insights. We do this every Monday, 12 noon to 1 p.m. So, kung gusto nyo ma-notify 30 minutes before we do Lipreneur Insights, comment lang kayo ng insights sa comment section. We're live sa so ating Facebook group, Facebook page, and also, if you haven't subscribed sa YouTube channel, yan, subscribe kayo sa ating YouTube channel. And lastly, for those who haven't registered yet sa ating uh, O-Learn Online Business Summit, um, just type in Summit in the comment section so we can send you more details on how you can register for free. Yeah, yeah that's it's... happening March 3 and 4. Ayan. Thank you Ayan. so much. So thank you so much, <laughs> Tinet, so Donna. Thank, thank you. Donna. And thank you ulit sa inyong lahat. As I always say, you are not limited by your current status in life. So if you want to start your own business and become a consultant, <laughs> come on. Let's make it happen. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> the Leapreneur Manifesto. I have a goal. Through my business, I will improve the lives of other people. I will have more time with my family and be financially free. I know that I will achieve this because I am not defined by my current status in life. Though I do not have much experience yet in starting a business, I know that through practice, I will get better and better. Yes, I'm scared. I lack capital. I lack experience, but I'm going to take the leap and make my dream happen because I am a Leapreneur.